The U.S. has suspended avocado imports from Mexico, leaving many restaurants scrambling to fill their orders. Piero Sanchez manages Baja Cantina in Los Angeles, where he says supplies may run out in two to three days. So it's super concerning, uh, the fact of the matter that the restaurant industry, you know, we've been walloped with prices on everything. So the fact of the matter that there's now another thing that's going to affect us is it, just, it, it's just nonstop. The incoming avocado scarcity is coming after an announcement by the U.S. Department of Agriculture on Monday. It said it would block imports after employees were verbally threatened in Mexico's western Michoacan state. The details of the incident weren't immediately clear, but Michoacan, which is Mexico's top avocado producing state and the only one certified to export to the U.S., has long dealt with security issues linked to drug gangs. That marks another source of trade tension between Washington and Mexico City and spells trouble for restaurant owners like Sanchez, who have grappled with pandemic restrictions and supply chain issues for the past two years. You know, Baja Cantina, we, we specialize on freshness on our food. So, you know, avocados, we want to make sure we have enough to get us by. Realistically, we have enough for about two to three days until we start seeing our pricing infl uh, kind of change. So for us, you know, we'll find a viable solution. We'll find a substitute or even that if we need to take a little bit of a hit, we'll take it. But uh, we're hoping this crisis or this situation ends very soon so we can get more supply out here and give, give the restaurants a break. The USDA says any crops which have been safety approved before February 11th could still be exported.